Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss one of the very very important topic in your digital signal processing uh, lab course that is convolution of two signal and that also you have to do without using con function in MATLAB. Okay, in your exam, suppose convolution comes, then obviously they will not allow uh, to use con function. Obviously, they will write in the question itself. Okay, at least if you are considering our VIT university, then obviously they will not allow you to use any inbuilt function. Okay, so like without using con function, how we, we can solve, let us try to understand. So, see, before going to this. Uh, algorithm or the code for the convolution of two signal just have a quick recap how we solve in general way there are different methods but the easiest way is matrix method all right so we are going to follow that matrix method only in our this particular program okay so let us just have a quick recap so see uh, Suppose the question is determine the response of the LTI system where input x of n and impulse response h of n are given by x of n as 1, 2, 3, 1 and h of n as 1, 2, 1, minus 1. Like that they may give you two sequence and you have to calculate the convolution and you have to plot it also. Okay. So first uh, let us try to understand how we can generate the convolution sequence or output when x of n is passed through h of n uh, what we can get as convolution result let us try to understand. So see very simple the simplest method as we do in matrix method what we do uh, we write h of n like this and x of n like this you can interchange also because as we know convolution of x of n and h of n is equal to convolution of h of n and x of n all right so basically see 1 2 1 minus 1 so here uh, it is written 1 2 1 minus 1 and x of n is 1 2 3 1 here in the column here it is written 1 2 3 1 then what we do we multiply this one with all the elements of 1 2 1 minus 1 that is all the elements of h of n and we write here 1 2 1 minus 1 all right then pick the second element that is 2 then multiply uh, all the elements with 2 so 2 into 1 2 then 2 into 2 4 2 into 1 2 and 2 into minus 1 minus 2 all right then uh, we take the next element 3 and we multiply with all the element 3 into 1 3 3 into 2 6 3 into 1 3 and 3 into minus 1 minus 3 and then here 1 is there so multiply all the elements with 1 1 into 1 1 1 into 2 1 1 into 1 1 1 into minus 1 minus 1 all right then we just add them up diagonally and we get our sequence convolutional sequence like first element will be 1 then 2 plus 2 then 3 plus 4 plus 1 and so on okay now what we can do uh, see so what is the algorithm for this particular program let us try to understand now as we have already have a recap of our theory course now let us directly go to algorithm see very simple step one Take the input from the user. CLC clear all close all. You can write if you don't want, you no need to write. Then x equal to input enter the first array, h equal to input enter the second array. Obviously, one for the our main uh, signal or you can say sequence or discrete signal, and h is our uh, system response. Obviously, these two uh, array we have to take as user input. Okay. Another two things we have to take that is uh, uh, from where to where, from which time sample to which time sample x is there, and from which time sample to which time sample our h is defined that us that also we have to take but that is required why when we want to plot the convolution result but in my this video i am going to show you how we can generate the convolution sequence not how to plot okay so in my next video i will discuss how to plot then there we have to take that to input also okay so let us go to next step see step two step two is very simple we have to create this kind of matrix okay there are basically two steps First is creation of the matrix and then add diagonally, right? So how to create the matrix? Very simple. You just fix any uh, input. Uh, suppose you just fix H and multiply all the uh, elements of H uh, uh, by the elements of X of N. Okay, like that. See, J equal to 1 empty array I have defined, basically which will store this particular output matrix. And then for I equal to 1 colon length of X, that is starting from 1, to last element of the input x that is 1 2 3 and 1 we will pick one by one element and we will, we will multiply with all the elements of h of n so that i have written here g is equal to h dot star x of i okay dot star means multiplication element by element okay 
then see uh, suppose you pick up the first element one when you multiply this particular one with all the elements of h of n you get this equals one to one minus one then when you pick this second element see we are writing in the second row right like here two four two minus two we are writing in the second row so that i have written here j equal to j semicolon then g okay this syntax will basically take to the next row and in this for loop okay so in this way we can generate our this particular matrix all right then very simple we have to add diagonally and what to do the algorithm for right diagonal elements uh, how to uh, choose the right diagonal elements of a matrix i already explained in my previous video you can check there i will post that link in the description so that algorithm only we are going to follow what we have done for right diagonal element for right diagonal element i plus j should be equal to the but i plus j should be equal to length of the Uh, square matrix or basically dimension of this square matrix all right similarly here here see here that length or the dimension is not fixed initially when we wanted to print only right diagonal we have we can choose here 4 uh, that is i plus j equal to 4 then we have to print but here the that particular uh, l is basically variable like here when you want to print this first diagonal see here i plus j equal to 1 should be there then for the second i plus j should be 2 why because this 2 is basically see let me write here this corresponding to uh, second position that is 2 2 and this corresponding to uh, sorry uh, this is actually uh, first row second column so this is 1 2 and this is what this will be <coughs> sorry this will be 2 1 okay so see now it is coming as 3 right so basically you just try to understand here and here this is 1 1 1 first element so basically like here i plus j should be equal to 2 then you have to print then here i plus j should be equal to 3 then you have to print and so on you have to go all right so what we can do we can apply this kind of code first uh, check the rows number of rows and column and k equal to r plus c because up to r plus c we have to go because this up to last index we have to go so this this line is for that purpose t equal to 2 we are defining where because c 1 1 so starting index itself is 2 then y equal to an empty array which will basically store our convolution result then cd equal to 0 we are defining then see what we can do while t less than equal to k okay that means until t less than equal to k we are going to take see diagonal element that is for i equal to 1 colon r for j equal to 1 colon c if i plus j equal to equal to t cd equal to cd plus j of ij cd here we have defined as 0 okay in this if else in this internal for in this external for and then t equal to t plus 1 we are incrementing and again we will check the condition like this the loop will go on okay and here y equal to y cd we are storing our cd in the y which is basically uh, in, so after the execution of this particular loop in the y variable our convolution result is going to be stored and for the next iteration again we have to define cd equal to 0 all right in this while loop that's all and next step is obviously print or display the array so display y simple four steps okay so now let me directly go to matlab and show you the implementation see here clc clear all close all x equal to input enter the first array h equal to input enter the second array then j equal to one empty array we have defined then for i equal to one colon length of x g equal to h dot star x of i basically here we are creating the matrix then here in this particular while loop we are just summing the diagonal elements and in the last step we are displaying okay let me show you control a uh, then evaluate selection and let me take the first uh array that is basically 1 2 3 1 okay so 1 2 3 1 okay so 1 2 3 1 and second one is basically our 1 2 1 minus 1 1 2 1 1 minus 1 okay see what is the output 1 4 8 8 3 minus 2 minus 1 let us check whether it is matching with our theory or not see if we add first time will be 1 next time will be 4 next time will be how much 
see here matching or not one four eight matching then next term will be one plus six seven eight nine nine minus one again eight see here next term is eight then three minus two minus one let, let us check see uh, next term is this one two plus three plus minus two that is three uh, minus three plus one that is minus two and last one is minus one okay exactly matching with our theory okay all right so i hope you have understood this there are four basically steps simple steps number one take the input from the user the uh, sequence and the system response then create the matrix then diagonally sum them up then display that okay just you need to know for a square matrix how you can uh, basically uh, or for, not for a square matrix only for any matrix how we can take diagonal sum okay that's what you need to know as a prerequisite course uh, or prerequisite concept to uh, before uh, you go for convolution in MATLAB without using con function. All right. I hope you have understood this. I will post the same code in the uh, comment section of my this video. If you want, you can check there. And if you want to know how we, you can extract the diagonal elements, basically right diagonal elements, then please go through the link given in the description. Thank you for watching.